we were fine with HTTP. I mean, why do we need to pay extra amount for having HTTPS? Is it safe if we have a HTTP website? Is it safe if we have a HTTPS website? What do you think, guys? That's why I thought, let's record about this question and clarify this question. Which one is good? Which one is bad? What is HTTP? How is HTTP work? What is HTTPS and how is HTTPS work? Is it safe to have HTTP or not? Is it safe to have HTTPS or not? So these all question will be answered by this question. I think before I start what is HTTP and HTTPS, uh, let me give you some analogy if you're new and new starter about the information communication technology. HTTP is a protocol, the same as HTTP is also a protocol. For example, if you know English and the other guys also know English, now English language as a protocol between you both that can communicate and know one another. Now, when we open a browser and type any website, it does require a protocol in order to open that web page or that website. Hyper text transfer protocol. So to be honest, it's not something I have to be honest, but it's already there. Um, HTTP was designed for fetching only the HTML file, but later on it moved to accepting uh, any sort of data. Let's talk about what is HTTP and which level of OSI model HTTP does perform. And it is a application layer of OSI model. If any one of you familiar about OSI model, I can see it's a message protocol between two devices over the web servers. The three important signs about HTTP is that HTTP is a connection list. What does it mean? When a client sends a request to the server, for example, www.xyz.com, the request goes to the server, then the session is closed until the server responds back to the client, meaning the server will re-establish the session. Once the server receives the request, the server will respond with the, the request. Now, that is called the connection less, meaning it is not holding the connection. It's like a half duplex. For example, if I ask you what's your name, then you thing like why am i supposed to say my name but since my name is a part of my identity it is better to say what is my name so this is how gtp work i ask you what's your name and you will answer your name again the second important things about the http http that deliver any sort of data whether it's a video voice data movie any types of data but if both computer, if both side can read the data. If for example, if I send you a Word file, if you have a Microsoft Office, you were able to access the Microsoft Office. It's an example. The third important things about the HTTP is that HTTPS is stateless. What does it mean? When a client send a request to server when a client send a request to the server server and client they know one another during of this session that's very interesting so if any one of you familiar about the connection less and connection connection less and connection oriented about tcp and udp so kind of udp but i don't want to confuse you with udp and tcp but it is connection less on top of that it is stateless for example during of asking hey what's your name if there's a thousand of people and i ask uh, hey do you mind tell me what's your name the moment you say my name is for example john and i will switch to another person now the connection is gone mean i knew you during when i was asking your name so i switch to other person now there is no connection and I'm asking another person. The same as with the HTTP. As I said, uh, server and client know 
one another during of the current request i think this is a good way to put on uh, yeah during of the current request they know rather than that they didn't have any information later on if if i ask the server hey you know the client a ask you this request the server will say excuse me i'm http i don't care about who is asking this question as for my information is available on the internet everyone can access it when a client send a request to the server the first thing the client send a http request to the website server will hold on if you remember we said that it's a connection list and on top of that is a state list the server will hold and see which kind of request does client looking for then the server re-establish another connection for client in order to access that website so this is how the http request work the problem with the http is that the transition between client and server they mostly use plain text as most of you know that plain text is if i request for example uh, if i request um, if i type abc the server will receive the same a b c d there is no any encryption for the http itself is delivering the raw information whatever information you want to deliver that is the biggest problem i think as far as i know most of the company they move to https the plan text is not safe if i say for example hey do you mind to tell me your password and instead of saying like hey you know let me text you or i will give you a call you will say yeah my password is abc at xyz.com well everyone heard that so what is the point i think the same thing happened with http it's very raw i mean everyone can see it i do remember i don't know which here was that if any one of you guys are remember uh Facebook has been hacked. Most of the Facebook has been hacked while Facebook were using HTTP. That's another problem. See, I want to tell you what is the exact problem with HTTP. It is very easy for hacker. It's very easy for hacker to snap the client request and give them a fake version of the website to deceive the requester to show them a fake website of facebook or any other any other websites like um even nowadays if you if your company has http it's okay it is not something to say it is not safe it is safe but if a hacker want to get some information about your clients whoever want to access your website they can run a fake website similar of your website they can deceive your client request and they show them a new request about the website for example you have a xyz.com they decline access xyz.com and there is another portion button like just hit the button and earn thousand dollar i've seen most of the people they said it's okay i just try what is what is what is the deal what is the big deal if i don't click but if someone is if you look at your original website in your original website you doesn't have that button since the hacker got inside your website it's not inside this snap see it's switching they just it's redirecting that is a good word they redirect your request they redirect your client request to their fake websites when they hit the button they will not earn a thousand dollar that was a ransomware like malware and so on you know about that stuff if not i try my best to have a particular video about the run somewhere but yeah http is safe it is not something like i said it's not safe it's okay but if you are sharing some confidential very important file and you have a more crowd on your website my suggestion is to go to https rather than http okay let's talk about what is https if you remember i said http is a connection less but http is opposite it's connection oriented http is work and how we can say it is a connection oriented for example in here in my example i have a client a who want to access 
youtube.com of course you will notice the padlock one thing i would like to share right now i don't want to forget it if you ever accessing any secure website let me give an example in here so in here if you notice there is a key it's a padlock we call the padlock so when you notice the pad padlock means the connection is secure between your computer and their web servers so this is the first thing that you need to know that the website is safe there is no any chance for hacker to snap your website to redirect your website so on so it is very secure whether you're using itl or ssl certificate so when a client send a request to the google it's very interesting i need your attention in here for example the client says that give me youtube.com what is the responsibility of google server it send the request back to the client say sure wow sounds great so here's my certificate and here's my public key what is my computer responsibility so since i know that google is the trusted company and the google is a trusted domain or whatever you name it i will say that okay i trust you google i accept your certificate and i know you are the right person who sent your certificate and your public key here's the most interesting part and i need your attention what is very important in here most of the people bit confused about how the public key and private key work in here it is if you are familiar about the cryptographic you know what i mean we have a symmetric and asymmetric so symmetric is partial key but asymmetric is public key and private key in here they are using same analogy whether they are using ssl or itl for example once i receive a request from server from any server it's not google google is an example from any server which is secure who provide the ssl certificate who provide the certificate in order to provide a secure session between point a and point b where uh, point a is a client and point b is a server for example in here i create a new secret so my computer will receive the request from the google server as an example i create a new secret key but encrypted with the google public key encrypted with the google public key let me repeat it again when i ask for youtube.com and the server send me a request sound is good why not sure here's my certificate and here is my public key once i accept that that is the right person that is the right domain that's the right uh, source i accept it and my computer will create a unique secure key and my computer encrypted with their public key you know why we are using their public key the only owner of private key will be able to access the public key will be able to access the secret key so once i send my secret key and encrypt it with the google public key now the google say that wow i got you so you are the right person let's open the session and it's very secure session it's a tunnel i don't want you guys to get confused about the tunnel it's not a vpn it's a kind of encryption that put our data encapsulate it is encapsulate it's, it's very hard for hacker to get inside and change the data format because it's encapsulate on top of that it is encrypted it is very hard for the hacker to find out what i mean for example if i google something sometime when you open and type google.com and searching about something it is very secure between your computer and google company because i mentioned the padlock also and it's secure on the google server they're using a smart choice said i have my public key since you know my public key and i can decrypt my public key by using my private key once they decrypt the public key once they decrypt his public key by using his private key they can find my unique secure key the session is open 
and there's no any errors. This is how HTTPS work and I hope the information was very helpful. If you think it was very helpful, um, uh, let's feed the YouTube by simply clicking the subscribe button. Thank you for watching and I do appreciate your time as well and I hope you learn some stuff through this video. Don't forget to share it with your friend, with your colleagues, with, a, with your friend, with whoever you think uh, who deserve to know this IT stuff. Until next time, stay safe, be brave, and of course, see you next time.